What's going on, gamers? We're back for some more RimWorld gameplay. Shoot, last time we played, um, we had some demons coming after us. But that's really just about it, you know? Just doing some simple farming. Nothing super interesting has happened. Uh, a lot of fires, I guess. <laughs> going through our California simulator, we had a fire, thunderstorm, rain. Fire, thunderstorm, rain. Fire, thunderstorm, rain. It just kept going back and forth. It was really annoying, but hopefully we're past that. But, you know, now that I say that, it's probably going to happen. So, you know, who knows what's going on. But, yeah, that's weird. That's a new little effect that goes on with rotting animals. It's a bit of a waste, but it didn't used to be that little, like, orange little puffy stuff coming up. Uh-oh. Uh Local buck has gone mad. It will attack everyone it sees. Uh-oh. It looks like it already is about to. That's not great. Um, quick, draft the homies. And you need to be able to run away. Can you run away? Uh, not really. Okay, this is not great. Run! Librinho! Uh, how hurt are you? Oh, he's just a bruise. Set that bitch on fire. Yeah! Boom! Easy money. And I don't know where the hell Dan is. Oh, he's right there. He was close. He was nearby. Okay, yeah. Step out of the fire, please. Oh my gosh, of course you're on fire. The deer will pay the price for what he has wrought. God, that is. Just <laughs> oh my gosh. He's going to burn up first before that happens. There we go. Well, there we go. I guess we have a deer whether we want to or not. And we'll prioritize... Putting the fire out, please. That's right, because it's right outside of the home zone. So we need to go put out the fire. There we go. There we go. Wow, that's really trying to spread quick, too. And that's golly, it's gone out of this area. Man, they didn't get to it fast enough, so now the fire is just going to keep spreading and spreading until they put all of it out, every last little piece. Of course, you just we just need to get rid of that fire bow. That fire bow is just becoming like a huge problem and really annoying. Uh, but I will get rid of the home area here because we don't really need that up there. Not yet. We haven't expanded that far yet. Okay, dude, I thought you said you were going to get up and leave, bro. Like, why are you still here? Right, come on, man. There we go. Like, was fully healed, and hopefully she'll get her own maroon back. Jeez, maybe I should just put him in the prison. I mean, I guess I could arrest him. Does he really have anything that I want? Just another fighter, really. Another person to grow things. I mean, we don't really need him. Need, need. We just want people. <laughs> hey, there we go. We got enough hay grass to, to do the floorings. There we go, finally. That's good. Oh, and our Ibex gave birth to a little healthy baby girl of one day old. That's good. A bunch of rhinos are kind of just impeding on my pen. Don't appreciate that, but again, can't really do anything about that. <laughs> if I piss off one rhino, it's going to piss off all of them, and then I will be dead, and everybody will be suffering in pain. So let's just not do that. But there we go. We got some... Got some meals going. Doing pretty good. Now we're just, we're chilling. <gasps> More guinea pigs. Yes. <laughs> so many guinea pigs. I guess we don't really need them anymore. Because now that we have farm animals. I guess we'll... Hmm... 
I don't think we need to kill them off right now. Oh, some gazelles have come into the area as well. Don't really need them. Now we got the ibexes. Ibex? Ibexes? What is the plural of ibex? Yeah, go ahead. Leave, you nerd. And there goes the bear meat. Um. Nah, we'll, we'll wait. Ibex does pregnant again. Let's pog. You're just gonna walk through my farm like you own the place. Yeah, just get out of here, Sam. Your little butthole. After all we did for you, we saved you from certain death, and that's how you repay us by walking away. It's very lame. Um, yeah, but I'm thinking for this here castle that we got. I mean, obviously, we need to build the wall first, but. I'm thinking we have, like, early housing, like, <laughs> peasantry housing, pretty much, for the new arrivals, who will get here and prove their worth, and then, like, for these people, our, our original five, we'll give them some bigger houses, some nicer places, so, you know, we can also maximize spacing for potential people that come in, and also just... You know, have a little bit of a tier-based society. I mean, they've been here the longest, so they deserve the best. And then also just, I don't know. I just feel like that'll be the, the best way to go about it. Um, you know what? Okay. I can't bring myself to kill Bell. But I think that we will sterilize Bell. And then we will slaughter the rest of them. Because we don't need them anymore. Oh gosh, you can hear the little cries. I'm so sorry. Why are you training him? I'm sorry, he has to die. I know I'm a very terrible person, but we have other animals that are going to be used for their purpose, and that's what the guinea pig's purpose first was. So, Belle will stay with us. She's just sedated and sterilized. So, we are okay. Is our donkey pregnant? Nope. Donkey's pregnant. Come on. Come on, pal. We need one more donkey, and then we're going to be okay. Bell's not going to kill the walking. Okay, there we go. Now she's just sleeping. A good little gin gin. Wildlife. About the same as it was 20 seconds ago, Hunter. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's what we need right now. We need the research going. That is what we need. Also, we need the ability to build some better bows, too. That would be helpful. Um, shoot. Mainly just slow down on the research here. Maybe we need ourselves like a... That's what we can do. We can build a small building for production's sake. Put a door just on the side right there. Give it some nice wood flooring. Give it a couple of torches, just like in the middle of the room, I guess. Just light it up. And then we'll reinstall the research bench into the corner. Or, whoops, I pressed the wrong button. Didn't want to be able to copy. I'm going to reinstall that. Get that place going, of course. Put our roof over it. Okay, of course, well, let me select all the rocks here because I got the flooring blueprints going. There we go. We'll get all those rocks moved out of there. We have a lot of wood, but you know what? We'll send people on another round. We'll just chop down like the nearby trees get rid of them. Use them for wood. Mr. Robot's just chilling. Doing his thing. Again. <laughs> he has a very boring life, but if I were to kill him, you know, it'd be kind of sad. He's like inspired taming. Success successfully can't talk. She will successfully tame the next animal regardless of difficulty. Huh? I think a warg would fit for the medievalness. It would be fantastic to have a rhino, but I think a warg would really fit for the 
Wait, are you set to be the one who tames? You are now the one to tame. I'll just have you not do it for a sec. I know you're a better skill, but she has the power. We gotta watch you do it, though. Hauling a bunch of stuff. Hauling the research bench over there. Okay. <laughs> That's right, we didn't floor the whole room here. There we go. And we'll just we'll have this be just another room. For a future colonist, maybe. She's gonna just we'll just keep an eye on her. Cutting berry bush, okay. Hauling wood, carrying the wood, constructing things. She's a good little builder. She's probably one of the best pawn here when it comes to like productivity. Boom. Look how quick that is. That's insane. Oh, here, we'll uh, speed up the process here. Um, War and basic bed rest. It's not even your top your top thing isn't really to cut trees down. Oh wait, yeah it is. Um, oh well. Yeah, we'll just we'll just keep an eye out here. Where is the warg? Warg Worgy boy's way over here. Harvesting some trees. Consuming a fine meal. Maybe it's time. Maybe she'll go do it. Taking fine meal inventory. Meditating. Okay. Just a little delayed. That's okay. Um, in the meantime, we can set to create an artist bench. Put that just right on the inside, you know? Make some nice statues and monuments of things. It'll give our ponds a little bit something to look at. Harvest poplar trees. Okay, come on. We don't want you to plant cut right now. Cleaning animal filth. Hauling. Cleaning animal filth. Cleaning dirt. I'm sorry, did I not tell you to handle? Yeah, tame, train, harvest resources, and slaughter animals. Can you go do this, please? I guess I'll just force you to try. Where's the warg? There he is. Animal skill too low? What? It said regardless of difficulty. What? That's pretty lame. Okay. Requires level 9. Requires level 5. I don't know. We don't really need to tame any other animal. That's a little annoying. Oh well. Okay. Back at it. Back to the plant cutting. Just reset all that stuff. Whoops, did not mean to pause. Man, how are these turkey eggs doing though? That's six eggs now. Hatches in two days. It's gonna be pretty exciting. Except we do need to, we'll build a copy for Bell and for our little rat. Who is the owner of the rat? Dan? Dan can have a bed then. And then we'll assign Dawn to that bed. And then assign Bell um, oh, there we go, to this bed. There we go. Quest expired, that's okay. We didn't want all that garbage on our plot anyway. Now we're just a build in. Really, really build in. Build another copy of a chair. Who is our most like artsy fartsy person? Is it Labrino? I'm pretty sure it's him. Yeah, it is. Cool, okay. Um now at the top, we'll have that be a decent priority. We'll add a bill. We shall make a grand sculpture. Actually, how much ingredients does that require? 400. Because we've only got 150. We'll make a large sculpture. How much does a large sculpture take? 100. Make a large sculpture out of silver.
And we'll put that somewhere where everybody can enjoy it and see it. Probably by like the tables in the games. They got all these deer just like chilling right by our crap too. Are you pregnant yet? No. Oh, come on. Come on. Need something going on here. We're just living. And not really surviving, we're just living. Yeah, sure. I mean, we could figure... Yeah, we can figure out what this is. So let's set that to be deconstructed. And we'll send this boy over. No path. That's not true. Oh, here. We'll send him to deconstruct the corner piece there. Oh, whoops. Undraft. Not a sign. All of these hoops to jump through. Okay, come on now. What's your construction? It's out of one. We'll just set that you can do it. Go deconstruct that wall. Let's see what's on the inside here. I'm kind of scared. Yeah. Bunch of bullshit no path. That's what's in there. Okay, we got a couple of bugs and a hive. These are some big bugs too. Some crazy good medicine. Some large stellas. An ancient crypto sleep casket, which we have no idea how these people are going to react. But this is where the fire bow is going to come in. This will be fantastic. Because as soon as we start burning these bugs up, the bugs can get out of the way. I just don't think we can really shoot in the gap here. Here, let's see here. If we draft, and I bring you over to the corner here. And now, I can't have you shoot in there. I, mean, I guess I could have you burn the walls down, but that's not really going to be very helpful. Um, hmm... What if you move here? Yeah. Can't even do that. Shoot. Okay. We'll have to set this up. Because this thing is going to poop out another bug in five days. Which is not good. So if we want ourselves a chokehold, we'll just build some wood walls here. Didn't... Well, of course that one, that wall didn't really matter there. And we'll set this to be mined out, but first we want a wood door here and here. We'll actually, we'll make it even thicker. Cancel that and then build another wood door to make a nice little funnel of a hallway. And hopefully just set a bug on fire or set something in here that's on fire. And if these caskets are bad people, then they'll burn up in the fire with the bugs. If they're good people, then we're going to have to try... <laughs> shoot, we're going to have to try and um, put out the fire and rescue them. But I have a feeling that they're going to be bad people, so we'll see. Um, we'll have this set to be a medical bed for now, because it's nobody's living in that house yet. And we will start building. We'll have them not mine that out yet, so they can go build these little structures here. Yep, build those up. Get the wood. Yes, my awesome little constructor. Fantastic. I mean, it's only wood, so it's not special. But it's all nice and set up here. Okay. Now, we don't really have a lot of cover over here, so what we can do... Go to a dumping zone. We'll just create, like, a line of rocks here. So, clear all. The only thing that we want are chunks. Now we'll haul chunks. Oh, come on. Haul chunks. And then we'll haul these chunks. Once they get those moved, we'll be in business. And I don't think we have anything else. Yeah, I don't really have anything else that's useful for production right now. A boom rat self-tamed. Because now it doesn't need boom rat one. Okay, well, it looks like this might actually come 
to our advantage. What we're going to do, we're going to create a new area. We'll name it Suicide now. If y'all can guess what the hell we're going to do here. We're going to expand allowed area. We're going to do Suicide and allow the rat to be, well not in that whole area, but to be by the nest. We want the rat by the nest. And now we will have our boom rat be selected to suicide, which is very morbid, I know. But hopefully, that boom rat can just go in. Well, I guess he can't go in there yet. Crap, because we need to mine this. And Legwa's our best miner, so we'll prioritize mining the limestone. The boom rat will go and be sent in there automatically, and hopefully the bugs trigger on the rat. Uh, whoop, and then, okay. And then we will not allow people to go into those doorways. So don't allow this. Where is our boom rat? All right, buddy. You got to get up and get in that hive. Because see, boom rats, for those of you who haven't played this, they're a special kind of rat. They have these little lumps on them, these little yellow lumps on the back of them. The same with boom elopes. Um, yeah, same as boom elopes, but obviously a lot smaller. And they grow fuel. They, like, grow chem fuel as if, like, it was milk and, like, a bigger animal, right? You can't milk boom rats, so they're kind of useless. So what we're going to do, we're going to pull, like, a Call of Duty and send them in there like an RCXD, like a, <laughs> like a little, like, C4 strapped on a car. And hopefully he can blow up and go set the hive on fire and create, like... And just create a big hot box in here so that these bugs can die of heat exposure. That would be super ideal so that nobody gets hurt because these spiders are tough as nails. Okay, Psychic Sooth, that's going to help. Um, that is not good, though. Okay, well, my plan is busted. <laughs> I did not think that they would just start mining the wall out here. So, well, shit. We have ourselves a bit of a problem. Hopefully he doesn't get triggered by anybody. Mr. Rat, you need to wake the hell up. Go to the hive. Go blow up on the hive. Yeah, so shoot, we just need people to just not go over towards the bugs. Yes, go, Mr. Rat. There you go. He's chilling. Yes, go attack him. Yes. Perfect. Explosion. Okay, what's well, gonna be a few hours till an explosion, I guess. But this is perfect. We want this. Maybe he'll also trigger... Hopefully he triggers the caskets, and then we can see what's going on with that. But for now, it's not going to trap the bugs in it either. Crap. Would it be awful of me to send... Yeah, it would be so awful if I did that. We need to. We're going to do it. Gin Gin, Bell, you're doing this for your country. Go in there. Go in there and commit suicide. We need those bugs to be in there when this boy explodes. Ah, oh, that's still like four in-game hours away. Okay, maybe hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Bell will not die yet. But we need you to get out of there. Go to Gin Gin. Run away! Okay, we'll send you in when he's about, when he's an hour from death. Okay, what are you doing? Okay, no, you are not going to haul those right now. Cancel. And cancel those ones. Yeah, go away. No. Yeah, you go away from the bugs. Big scary bugs. We don't like those. What are you doing? No. You do not tend to the boom rat. No. We don't. We don't want the boom rat to be tamed, damn it. Garbo. This is not good. Okay, we're just gonna have to draft you and keep you indoors for now. Because those bugs are big scary. What's your health at, three hours? All right, perfect. It's gonna have to be enough time. Gin Gin, go to suicide. <laughs> and now, we'll draft 
people. We'll set them outside right here. Now we'll... Gin Gin is gone. Ah, oh, shit. The bugs are on the attack. Oh, come on. You gotta hit him. Crap. This is not what I wanted. Oof, because that cut in the torso is gonna... is messed up. Okay, there's one bug. Um, where's the other one? Okay, he's way the hell up there, actually. That's, this might be good. Okay, undraft. Yeah, let them burn. Oh, crap. He's coming! No, we don't want this! You're gonna have to get redrafted. How hurt are you? Okay, you're not bad. Sorry, you're gonna have to get back into combat. No, go down the other way. There we go. I think we're gonna need the animals to take the brunt for this. There we go. Catch that asshole on fire. Oh, uh, crap, that's not what we wanted. It's better than people. It's okay. Dawn the rat. Really helped us out there. Oh, great. Now we're going to have an explosion here. Nope, you need to be drafted for a couple seconds. Okay. Thankfully, we were not in there when that happened. Because we got all these people who are bad people with guns. Oh, boy. Okay, yep. Everybody go back home. There we go. Get away from them. Oh, shoot. Are they going to attack us? Please, no. This is not good. This is really not good. Oh, great. It's like a high-level raid. <laughs> they have guns and armor and things. Why are they not sick at all? None of these people... Oh, because they're, like, super high on drugs. You're not, though. Why are you up and, um, why are you up and at them and just, like, being s crypto sick and just not having a problem? Oh, <laughs> this might go really badly. Okay, right, everybody... I know you need medical treatment, but you're not bleeding out. So you need to survive. And run away. Everybody just needs to run away. <gasps> Wait, lead him to the robot. Oh please, robot. Robot, you're gonna be able to one you're gonna be the one to be able to help us. Okay, obviously Dan, don't run to the robot. Okay, I need to think about this a little bit better. Strategy, strategy, strategy. Um, okay. Hopefully that's good enough to lead them to the robot. Oh, the dog is getting shot. Go, robot. No, they're setting a fire? <sighs> no, they're not. They're not dumb. Alright, everybody go run over there. Is the robot attacking now? Please tell me that they're going to attack the robot. Are you serious? They're just going to run right by the robot! My plan didn't work! Ah, <sighs> shit. And they are just not going to stop, are they? Okay, good. There's rain. Rain is good. We like that. It won't, everything won't just get burned down immediately. <sighs> shit. How badly hurt are you? Oh, God. Keep running, run away. Cause they have assault rifles. We are not ready for that. Go to the warg. Golly, there's such a huge fire. Oh, now you're puking and being sick after you're burning my house down. <sighs> not to worry. This stuff can be replaced. Okay. We might, we're going to have to try and take down one of them, I think. We just go around the corner here. Okay. 
get set up, ready to fight, because we are really backed into a corner here. Come on, asshole. You're fucking going down, dude. Blood loss miner. Shit, okay. Charge him. Send the dog in. Come on. Kill this guy. Oh my god. Send the dog in. The dog needs to sacrifice for us. Yeah, because the gun. Okay, come on, dude. This guy's literally on fire. How is he still fighting? Okay, thank God. He's he's fucking dead, finally. Drugs, a gun, a body, and components. How is the place looking? It's on fire. How are you so hurt? Burns. Oh, visitors. They can help fight. But they only have bows and spears. They're going to get destroyed. Okay, well, we need to do some... We need to do some emergency... Emergency tending. Medical. Rest until healed. How are you hurt? Okay, you're not hurt that bad either. Oh shit, of course. Do you really not carry? Ah, uh, you don't carry any meds on you. Ah, we can't tend to him. Shit. Redraft, everybody. Mm, okay, he only, only, he's only got a stupid pistol. We just need to go bum rush him. Sit in the corner. Draft. Spread out. Draft. Spread out. Oh, God. The LMG. Okay, you need to go fuck him up first. And just, I don't know, just get you in the open. No, God. Get to cover. Okay, perfect. Okay, we need you to... Oh, God. Decisions, decisions, combat. Okay, we need you to start firing. Yes. Okay, dogs on the pistol. God, no. Our melee band's down. Oh, fuck. Um, uh, the fire isn't really helping. What's your, what's your skill? Melee skill? Pick that shit up and start stabbing. Oh god, the dog is down. Bitch, can you just keel over and die already? Okay, and they're starting to fight now, too. Oh god, another person's down. How is this guy such a crack shot? Tribes people from Lumar Sai. Oh, that's our people. Golly. Can you land a hit? Oh my god. Nobody's landing any sort of hits. You need to go sit at a corner and everybody's down. Oh boy. Mr. Man in Black who always appears to be super useless. Get you drafted. Get up there. Everything's on fire. Where the hell? Oh no. That's where they are. You have medicine on you? Okay. Why would you get up? Equip. No, get around the corner. Death in seven hours, death in six, death in five. Shit, this fight. I think this is the end. Okay, who is the closest to death? Five hours, Mr. Man in Black? Of course, you're such a shit. Just had to be that way, didn't it? Okay, he's still down, but is no immediate danger. Okay, you need to, Mr. Man in Black with crazy hairdo. Rescue Dan first. Shit. Why are you so slow? 
This is impossible. This is the end. Run away, dude. How are these people are so fast? Oh, thanks. Thank you, game. Wait, are they running away? Are they finally done? <gasps> Go rescue people. Rescue Dan. Oh, nope. They, she just moved to rocks to start shooting. Well, cat, you're gonna die, dude. There's no, there's literally no way. Why are you so slow? Holy shit. You're literally a fast walker. And you're incapable of so many things. Alright, dude. You just need to, like, get around a corner. Nope, he's down. Alright, everybody's just, just gonna die. That's just how it's gonna be. All that medicine. Well, we took one of them down before people died. Maybe somebody could just get up and survive, but I don't think that's going to happen again. I understand that there's a medical emergency. And the fire slowly burning our place down. Well, there's a couple deaths of Dan and our dog, Sherlock. More fires are being set. Labrino's now dead. Oh, good job, donkey. Oh, it's... oh, now they give up and they're leaving. Are you fucking kidding me? I am so pissed. Can somebody maybe get up? One person. One person's all that's needed to survive. Galga was destroyed. Come on, Galga, please. No, death of 23 hours. Uh, now there's a cold snap. Thank you, game. Roofs are collapsing because there's a huge fire now. And the animals are on fire. Everything is burning. Everything is awful. Everything is horrible. Please. You are the only hope. You just need to get up. Just survive, please. She can't walk. Of course, I had a shitty man in black, too. Who just decides, oh, I'm going to have the ability to do practically nothing useful besides combat and medical. Not even medical. Besides so combat and taming animals. But I am going to have a bad back and not be able to move very fast. <sighs> the screen is shaking so much because there's just so much collapsing roofs. Because the entire place is running down. Because it's all made out of wood. Well. This is all in the name of content, right? I should have just played it safe. But, oh well. This is... This is the nature of RimWorld. And now I just have all these people that were just tribal. A turkey died. Turkey burned to death. 12 hours. Oh, good job, Boomalope. Really needed you to be self tamed right there, didn't I? I'm just. Oh, God. Yep. Look at all those warnings. Yes, I understand that there's so many roof collapses because everything is burning and everything is falling apart. Well, he's going to die in five hours. Wait, who's sleeping? You're telling me you can't move, but you're making the conscious decision to sleep? And there we go. Everyone is dead or gone. The story is over. Perhaps someone else will find a use for the ruins of this place. Well, the animals are going to roam away now. There are giant thrombos that are just deciding to live on my plot, and it's going to snow. So all that's left is a pile of steel, a pile of rocks, a handful of torches and walls and fences, and the sleep caskets.
And the robot. The robot has decided to outlive everybody. And will continue to just wander around. And do absolutely nothing. And there go some animals. Running off and away because of a cold snap. That of course had to kill all the plants too. To add insult to injury. Um, and the traders that came here. Oh god, this guy had his head bitten off. Okay, I guess he's been feasted upon. Let's look at your log. So I guess this guy's name was Horse. White's SMG really tore this guy up. And I guess... <laughs> oh, okay. Fired precisely at Horse, but I, can't, I guess missed. And as she was missing, he was talking with some, probably the other trader, Olga, about eating habits. And then started taking damage. Started taking even more damage. Hit his heart and his torso. And then bled out on the ground about a day and a half ago. Yep, this is Olga. The other traitor. Gunshot wound made Olga crumple helplessly and then Olga perished. Crushed torso into fragments. Pierced right lung. Manipulated his Iqua tentatively, savaging, savagely jabbing Oyster in the left radius. Well, at least they tried, they attempted to fight back. They really did. And we saw our people die at the hands mainly of fucking Hummingbird, the bureaucrat, who just is a god with a gun, I guess. And the very shit cat, the sailor, who decided to be the most useful person that I have ever gotten as a man in black. And now the lives of Labrino. Legua, Dan, Galga, Bedwiro, Bedwiro, I'm sorry, I still can't get your name right, even to death. And the countless animals that we started with, Sherlock, the dog, Belle, the guinea pig, who decided to commit suicide in vain. The boom rat that self-tamed that started all of this, which in the end was my fault. So far, some of the animals maybe have lived, but there is definitely a turkey that burned to death. Or... I guess. This one isn't dead. It's going to die. <laughs> the, the, so that just means that the baby was the one that died first. Um, the donkeys are alive. Ibexes are alive. And I guess some stupid boomalope who decided to self-tame after everybody was down and dying. And you know, just a bunch of roof collapses a blight on our corn plants before they decided to burn up and freeze away. Um, death of donkeys. Lots of roof collapses. Oh, the thrombos are here. More death. Because of infection, not because of the bullet wounds in his face. A lot of roofs were collapsed. Cat died before most of our own people. He's such a pussy. And roof collapse. So, this is the nature of Room World. But I guess that's it. Who knows? Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll do another attempt at another time. But, you know, this always tends to happen that I get into a playthrough... I get really involved, and then for some reason, something small leads into a giant catastrophe where everybody dies, and it normally ends in fire, where everything is burnt to the ground. And there goes another more insult to injury. Turkey one has died because of blood loss. Yeah, so, for those of you who want to endeavor in a game like this, just remember, boom wraps and boomalopes, they might be useful, they might be cool. But, oh, yes, that stupid old bitch turtle decided to die, too, or whatever. We'll take you with us. And as I was saying, um, if you decide to have any sort of boomalopes or boom animals in your proximity, um, please take extra extreme care for them. Because if they die, and all of your stuff is made out of wood, it's going to be a huge problem. But anyway, this is the end of the RimWorld playthrough. This has been Valkyrie Hunter, and we'll see you for the next series.